Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And the weather looks good for the scouts both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. It will be sunny and dry, much cooler, but overall a good day. Very mild this afternoon. In fact, we're unseasonably warm. Our temperatures ranging anywhere from 70 to 75 degrees, including 75 in Providence. We'll be a solid 20 degrees cooler for tomorrow afternoon, even with all day sunshine. So it'll start to feel more like November and more like the season. Skies are mainly clear in Providence, <laughs> excuse me, in Providence right now. Temperature coming in at uh, 56 degrees. So it's not real cold, but it will be cooling off quite a bit late at night towards daybreak. We'll get down into the uh, lower 40s, a north northwesterly breeze will drop the humidity and it will drop the temperature overnight and into tomorrow morning. Smithfield at 55 right now under partly cloudy skies and temperatures in most locations at this hour are ranging between 50 and 55. So cool air on the way for the weekend. Some showers, but not for the entire weekend. A few scattered light ones on Sunday, but even Sunday as a whole doesn't look like a stormy day or a washout. And then another chance coming up Monday evening and into Monday night and still seeing signs of much colder weather by the middle and the end of next week. We'll show you that in the seven-day future cast. You see skies are clearing out after a couple of isolated showers late this afternoon, tracking a cold front that's starting to move offshore. It's draped from coastal New England all the way back through the Ohio River Valley. This blue line right in here represents the leading edge of a cooler and colder air pouring out of Canada and the Great Lakes, and that arrives for the weekend. High temperatures tomorrow, again, only 50, 55, snow across the northern plains. We're not looking at any Anything extreme will just get temperatures back or closer to average as today's milder weather continues to slip offshore. So with very dry air in place, that should assure us of a mainly sunny day coming up for tomorrow. Take a look at Futurecast starting off overnight. We'll take you through the uh, early morning hours around 6 a.m. starting off in the upper 30s to low 40s. Crystal clear, moonlit skies, lots of sunshine, a nice day, just not nearly as warm. Looking at high temperatures between 50 and 55, just a few patchy clouds mixing with the sunshine. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it's in the upper 40s to around 50. Your Saturday night looks dry and cool. Outdoor activities are fine. There's a water fire Saturday night. Weather looks good for that. At 11 o'clock, we're down to 43. So your future cast tomorrow morning, a cool start at 42 with plenty of sunshine. Sunrise at 721. And then during the afternoon, mainly sunny, a few patchy clouds and high temperatures topping out nowhere near what it was today between 50 and 55. A few light showers Sunday afternoon. Again, it's not a storm. It's not a washout. Though Saturday is clearly the brighter day compared to Sunday with a temperature at 60. And just when you thought we were done with 70 degree weather, we'll get it at least one more chance, one more time on Monday. Uh, Monday day looks dry, some scattered showers Monday evening, Monday night. That'll be out of here and setting the stage for much cooler to colder weather by the middle and the end of next week. I know you guys are looking at that Friday high temperature of 39. And I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. But it looks good tomorrow. All right. 16 games there, Yanni? 